So we finally made it to the Shark Bay area. We've actually been trying to come here for a couple of years. The first time, COVID hit, got shut down. The second time was last April. And that's when the cyclone hit Cow Barrier. All the roads were closed. We couldn't get back over here. Now this time we finally made it to the Shark Bay area. Stoked, absolutely stoked to be back on the road again. It's the school holidays, April school holidays. We've got two weeks. We've got a bunch of stops that we're going to. The first place we're headed right now is um, Hamlin Station uh, Outback Stay, I think it's called. It's like a, a station stay, a farm stay. Um, so we're gonna use that as the launching point to head out to Steep Point tomorrow. We're gonna spend the whole day. Now Steep Point is the most westerly point in, uh, in on the Australian mainland. Uh, so we're gonna spend the whole day tomorrow full driving out there, pack a lunch, and just gonna have a fantastic time. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Let's get into it. Hamlin Outback Station Stay is approximately 720 kilometres north of Perth. It is a 200,000 hectare property on the shores of the Shark Bay World Heritage Area. It has sites for campers and caravans in natural bush settings, but there is no power or water hookup. They also have rooms available in their restored shearers quarters. They have a communal kitchen with large dining area, fireplace and covered barbecues. There is also a smaller second camp kitchen with running water and tables and chairs. They have a fully functioning ablutions block that fits into the natural beauty of the landscape that are impeccably maintained. And you have the option to leave your van overnight for a $15 fee if you wish to camp out at Steep Point. And those sunsets truly are something to behold. Alright, so we're all set, ready for our day out to Steep Point. Miranda's just taken the opportunity to get a photo of the kids in this uh, yeah. this old tractor here. Oh, that sun. Alright, so, we've got these sunnies on. It's about 160 k's ride to the most westerly point. So it's obviously, what, 320 k's return. It's going to be a big day, about five hours, I guess. Um, probably a lot longer, actually, once we start tripping about and doing all the other stuff while we're out there. I've got the fishing rods, uh, kids swimming gear and snorkels and all the rest of it, so I think it's gonna be quite a good day. So it says it's gonna take us Three hours to go 140 k's. Well, let's get going then. Better get going. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, well, here we are. We made it. Three hours later, we finally made it. Steep point. Miranda and the kids have already run off ahead. Oh, it's just rugged beauty, really, isn't it? A seal! Or is that a turtle? Oh, oh, yeah, check it out. There's a turtle. Out there somewhere. It's a brown thing. That's a turtle. I thought it was a seal. Oh, hi, buddy. Well, that's pretty cool. Well I spotted, Camo. I don't know how I well found it. I spotted, mate. Nature's window, how do we get to it? Uh, easy, come on. I'll show you how. Nature's window, here we come. Oh, check it out. How cool is that? Climb down, okay? Gotta climb down, we better climb down careful, huh? Yeah. Look at that, as sure footed as a mountain goat, wearing a pink top. Pretty is this? That's what you call a rugged coastline, eh? <laughs> I can stare at this all day. Imagine that being the view out your bedroom window. Oh. You wouldn't get up in the morning, would you? Yeah. Not at all. I would stay up at all night and watch it. So if you ever find yourself at Steep Point, spend the extra five minutes and scrabble down to nature's window because the view is worth it. It only took us, what, two minutes to walk yeah, down there? Yeah. Not bad at all. You've got to scrabble over all these rocks here. No, it's not hard. It's not hard, just got to mind your footing, especially if you've got little ones. And watch you don't fall out over the edge. But there's no rails out here. How are you guys going, all right? Good. Hey, there's the sign for Steep Point just there. Nature's window was just back there. There was about oh, three or four other cars here. They took photos of the sign. And no one else went down to Nature's window. But it was well worth it.
Too sure how close I'm going to be able to get to this guy. We were just leaving Steep Point now. Um, we just pulled over because uh, uh, Jacqueline needed the toilet, and maybe so did I. But just up here on this rock, there's a there's a goat. He's about there, maybe there, right there. So I'm going to see how close I can get to him. Well, I've gotten a lot closer than I thought I would. Check him. He's just chilling out on his rock. Pondering life. Looking out over the ocean. I mean, look at the view that he's got. Man, he's living his best life up there, he is. Oh, there's another one down there too. There's two of them. Oh, yeah. Huh. That is so cool. See how close you can get, Cam? Yep. Without disturbing him too much. Without them kicking me. Ghosts can kick you. Can they? Well, let's hope these guys aren't territorial. We might be in trouble. It means they get upset that we're in their and home. Or no idea. Chase us off. Oh, there he goes. All right, so we're back at uh, back at Hamlin Station. Uh, it was 160 k's out to Steep Point, and it took us about three hours to get there uh, all up. It wasn't that bad. I've heard a lot of um, a lot of reports and reviews saying there's a real steep dune to enter, but it wasn't really that bad at all. There's a few sort of off camber ruts, but it wasn't boggy. It wasn't that steep. We probably could have gotten the Robbo out there. So next time we're gonna we're gonna hitch up the Robbo and stay out there for a few nights. Um, but yeah, it was a really, really good day actually. Uh, the whole day was about nine hours. So we spent, you know, three hours getting there, three hours getting back, and there was about three hours we spent there right at Steep Point. And then we pulled up along the beach and had lunch and I tried my luck at a bit of fishing and same old story with me and fishing, heaps of bites and nothing to bring home. <laughs> Doesn't matter though. It was really good. Had a fantastic day down there. Just going for a little wander through the bush here. It's it's quite nice actually. But uh, yeah, Miranda's whipping up some dinner. So sit down, have some dinner. And then tomorrow we're off to Denham. And we're going to hit the whole Monkey Bay. Uh, Monkey Bay, sorry. Monkey Mire area. Uh, there's a few sort of points of interest that we're going to check out while we're there. But tomorrow morning we're going to get up. We're going to just have a look at the shearing shed and a few of the, uh, the features around this Hamlin station. And uh, yeah, then we're pushing off to our next destination on this trip. <laughs> 